Well, well, ever thought of overclocking Ryzen 3 with the included stock cooler, the Wraith Stealth? This is exactly what I'm gonna do today. The exact Ryzen 3 I have here is the 1200. So can we squeeze out more performance, especially more FPS in games, by simply overclocking this CPU? And how about the temperatures? Will it overheat? Let's find out. Since I don't have the usual motherboard one would want to pair this AMD Ryzen 3 processor with, I'll go with an X370 chipset board I used for Ryzen 5 and 7 testing. This is the ASUS Prime X370 Pro, but normally you'd go for a B350 board instead to not waste money since a Ryzen 3 build probably would end up being a budget build for most of us. As for memory, to keep the configuration as real as possible, I'll not go for 3200 MHz, but will downclock my RAM to 2400 megahertz instead. At stock, the CPU is clocked at 3.1 GHz base and 3.4 GHz turbo. Now we're gonna increase the clock speed to a whopping 3.8 GHz while using the included stock cooler for cooling. So in the BIOS I set the core ratio to 38, which gives us 3.8 GHz. And as for the CPU voltage, I personally prefer offset mode and increase the voltage by like 0.112 volts. And that's pretty much it. Very simple anyone can do it, as long as you have a motherboard that supports overclocking. Now of course I already pre-tested this overclock, so I know it's 100% stable and CPU-Z displays about 1.286 to 1.308 volts at max at full load. I stress tested with Cinebench as well as AIDA64. But what about the temperatures and performance gains? Let's check those out. So obviously when buying a Ryzen 3 you're really getting a decent quad core, especially at a price of about 120 US dollars. However, the whole Ryzen lineup comes with unlocked multipliers, allowing us enthusiasts to tinker with overclocking and thus increasing the performance our chips offer. Now in the case of the Ryzen 3 1200, it was super easy to achieve that overclock, but that's depending on how lucky you are, your mileage may vary. But I do think 3.8 GHz should be doable with almost any Ryzen 3 out there. As you may have seen in the charts, not every game or application benefits as much from overclocking, but for the majority, quite a nice increase in performance. When it comes to video editing and rendering, the drastically more expensive i5 7600K is put to shame. The Ryzen 3 1200 overclocked to 3.8 GHz, getting dangerously close to the i5 while costing so much less. Also quite funny, the i5 does not come with a 
stock cooler, so you'd have to invest some more money in a cooler. But of course, that's just for rendering. In games Intel dominates, sadly I didn't have any i3s or Pentiums on hand to compare against. What's clearly noticeable though is the fact that the 1200, when overclocked just a little, can easily match the Ryzen 5 1400 stock performance. The power draw does increase by quite a bit, but it's still so low it doesn't matter much at all. With the standard fan profile and a bias for the Wraith Stealth stock cooler, the fan remained perfectly quiet even under 100% load and reached a max temperature of 66 degrees in IDA64, 62 degrees in Cinebench, a more realistic scenario. So what's there negative to say about overclocking Ryzen 3? That's right, nothing. In fact, I would recommend anyone buying a Ryzen 3 to go ahead and overclock their CPU. You already have everything you need after all, the coolers included. This can greatly improve performance as you've seen, and the temperatures are of no concerns at all. My rule of thumb, try avoiding getting into the 70 degree mark and you're fine. And that's it for this video. Next time I'll go ahead and we'll try hitting 4 GHz with an AIO liquid cooler to see what kind of performance there is to be unlocked if you, let's say, invest in a better cooler along the way. And as always, thanks for watching.